how to apply for funding for a business. So get a pen and paper, folks, because most of you say, I need money, I need capital. You actually don't need anything but this to start making money. What's between here is enough skills to actually go to our millionaire intensive, learn how to make money, and just start making money with what you already know. Now, for those of you who are actually capital driven, we're gonna get into it. So number one, I'm gonna talk about OPM and OPC. What do those mean? How can you use them? Number two, how do you actually get some funding to kickstart your business to really like move it quickly? If you have good credit, you're gonna score big. If you don't, you're gonna need to find a partner. And number three, that in all of this, if your financial infrastructure isn't exactly right, what's the point of having done it all? So let's start with OPM and OPC. That's other people's money and other people's credit. Those are the obvious ones. They're typically hard money lenders, friends and family kind of money. Could be taking a loan out of a 401k, lots of ways to do that, call your credit card companies, increase your limits. Those are the obvious ones. The reason OPC is part of that is a lot of you don't have good credit. You didn't manage that through your journey. You could partner with somebody else, use their credit, use their money. But again, stay tuned to the end when I talk about financial infrastructure. The way that partnership is documented is critical or the money and credit, one of you are gonna get hurt. And then at worse, if somebody's bringing money and credit and you're doing the work, the accountability is all on you. So it all sounds amazing. I prefer you actually not go into debt, into even good debt to actually start your company because you can actually start from nothing. I have bootstrapped from nothing hundreds of millions of dollars in companies. And you start by selling services. From there, you can grow and add other things. So OPM, OPC, it's everywhere. You just have to know how to do it. The best book I have that can teach you some of that is Wealth Cycle Investing, my third millionaire maker book. We're gonna give you the first three chapters of that. So go ahead and click in the link below for the first three chapters of Wealth Cycle Investing. Start reading through it. You're probably gonna wanna go grab the whole book because it's money rules, due diligence, introduces you to alternative investments and alternative assets. But funding for business, Business. Let's continue on. So what are exploring other sources and really kickstarting your business? So we have lots of sources, hundreds of them, that will give you 0% financing for up to 21 months. That's free money. So yes, you're going to go into debt. So it's gonna be under your probably social security number and you could go for business credit and put it under your LLC number or your S Corp or C Corp, depending on what company you have. If you don't have a company, you're gonna need one. So click on our link below, have a strategy session with our team, Talk to our team about what they can do to help you get incorporated, number one. And then once you have that set, we can help you then get funding. But you have to do both. You have to actually be in a coaching program, be in our system, help us. We're going to help you get incorporated properly. And then you can go for corporate credit, which is done in Broad Street and really moving corporate credit. That's a whole different game. Ideally, what you want is your social security number and a lot of access to money because you have good credit. Then you have company number one, company number two, company number three, and all of them are going to have access to corporate credit corporate lines of credit, bigger credit card lines of credit. You're gonna be shocked when you learn how to really use a credit card as an investment card, which by the way, we're gonna take a little pause here. I want you to go to my search bar after the video. I want you to look for some of the videos that I've done on credit cards as investment cards. How do you use credit? How do you actually explode this whole section of your life that most of you have avoided because you're so concerned about being in debt? We're not worried about that over here. We're the millionaire maker team, not the Dave Ramsey, Susie Orman, stay out of debt and stay really tiny, small in a box. They do a great job of that. Amazing people not teaching you millionaire maker strategies. So if that's what you're here for, that's what we're gonna go do. The SBA has amazing opportunities for you to get money. A lot of times the SBA is gonna want it real estate associated, but sometimes they'll give you loans. You could also go for grants and those other things. It's just really, really slow money. So while you are here, I want you to subscribe to my my channel, click the notification button. I want that you share this with five or 10 people. Please, please, please. I'm also doing a binge series right now where you can binge watch this channel. 25 hours will get you a $750 credit towards any new tuition that you wanna use with us. So the last part is the importance of financial infrastructure. So as I mentioned earlier, if you're gonna have OPM, OPC, and you like come together, you need to have some sort of a corporate structure. Most times it's that's an investment vehicle would be an LLC, but again, depends what you're doing, depends what you're buying, depends how you're exiting, depends, 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 why you have to use that strategy session and talk to our team. So we set it up properly and accurately for you. So 
financial infrastructure means you're gonna have corporations and you're gonna live corporate life. If you haven't heard me talk about living corporate life, I'm gonna give you two tickets to our millionaire intensive. Many of you have heard this, I say it on about every video, because I want you to show up. I want you to show up and consume and then repetitively show up. Just because you've come once doesn't mean you don't need to come three, four or five time repetitions, the key to your learning. And then not only hearing it, but then putting it in your life, which then requires probably some coaching and mentoring. When you live corporate life, our team will set up the entity, which are then gonna be held in trust. We'll help set up the trust. We're gonna help set up the insurance. We're gonna help you then do the funding. The more structure you have, the more access to capital you have. Isn't that interesting how that correlation goes? A lot of you, you wanna stay a sole proprietor, not make any commitments to really commit to be in business. You just wanna be an emotional entrepreneur, which isn't gonna get you anywhere because when you are totally in, you're corporately structured, you live corporate life, those companies live on for generations. Can you imagine your great, 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 great grandkids having companies that are now hundreds of years old. Rockefellers did it all the time. That access to capital and the amount of making money, spending money, moving money through the financial systems gives you even more access. So you don't start a company and then take it down partway through when you feel like you're failing. So you stay with us. We'll continue to coach you, guide you, mentor you on what operating agreement should say. When you walk into a deal, an operating agreement, I always say you should design your divorce while you're in love because the beginning of the relationship of a business relationship is usually the best. Once activity, challenge, challenges, problems, you know, all things start happening. It gets a little rocky. You better have it documented and uh, you should design this that divorce called your operating agreement while you are in love before you start making any revenues in that company. So if you don't know how to do that, got lots of trainings on operating agreements and those dot com kind of companies that can give you a cheap entity, not going to give you a proper LLC, not going to give you a proper operating agreement. So make sure your financial infrastructure is solid. Your banking needs to be solid. And by the way, you're going to need a QuickBooks or Quicken, some sort of an accounting system to track all this. If you expect to get OPM, which is other people's money or even use their credit, they're going to want monthly financials, P&Ls and balance sheets of what's going on, what's the cash flow statement, what's going on in the project. You're going to have to know how to produce all that or get a team to do it. We can help you do all of that. Again, grab that strategy session. I'll see you with the Millionaire Intensive to learn to live corporate life and we'll take a next step and hopefully we can get you some funding along this journey. And if you have any questions, go to asklaurel.com. We'll talk to you tomorrow.